welcome back. As we move into chapter nine, we just there's two big topics. Well, <clears throat> there's really one big topic and a slightly more minor topic here. So we in 9.1 we discuss sequences. And so I just made up a sequence here. This is a sequence 2n squared over n squared plus 4n plus 4. And then I decided let's plug in n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4. And so these are the terms of the sequence. And you know, it's two, I could have reduced some of these numbers, but I just plugged it in and wrote them as they were. Um, maybe you can tell these numbers are getting a little bigger, uh, but it's hard to tell what they're approaching from looking at the first few terms. You can't really tell what they're approaching. So we learned to tell what a sequence might be approaching is you take the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth term. That's the first term, the second term, the third term. This is the nth term. The, the, the sequence was given or defined by the nth term. So I take the limit of the nth term as n goes to infinity. Well, that's a pretty easy limit. You know, if I just tried to plug in infinity, which is a little bad language, uh, you get infinity squared. You get infinity in the numerator and infinity in the denominator, of course. So it's an infinity over infinity situation. We could apply L'Hopital's rule, which we learned earlier. Uh, but we also learned to sort of shortcut that a little bit with this... Uh, <clears throat> same degree in the numerator, same degree in the denominator. We know that they're kind of the same size infinities and they are approaching the ratio of leading coefficients. So the answer to this limit is actually two. It's approaching two over one, the ratio of leading coefficients, two. So this sequence converges and it converges to two. Uh, and that's it for sequences. A series is quite a bit more complicated. Uh, it's, this is the same nth term, but it's a series, and a series is a summation of those terms. So it's kind of like this list, but it's not like this list. It's this list <clears throat> without commas in between it, but with these terms added together. So when n is 3, I get this third term. When n is 4, I get this fourth term, and I add all these up. If they can add up to a number, uh, I guess we say the series converges. If it adds up to infinity, it, it, it diverges. Um, <clears throat> so what does this add up to infinitely? Well, uh, we're going to learn this. The very first test we learned in section 9.2 is the very first thing we kind of learn about series is this test called the nth term test or the divergence test. I call it the divergence test sometimes. Um, and here's what it says. We studied it already. Uh, the nth term test or the divergence test says take the limit of this and see what you get. The limit of this 2n squared of this nth term, n squared plus 4n plus 4. And we do get 2, but unlike the story of sequences where when you get two, that's what it converges to. What we just learned is that these terms approach two. And if the terms are approaching two and I'm adding them, then eventually I'm out there and I'm adding two plus two plus two infinitely. What will that add up to? That adds up to infinity and this series definitely diverges. I hope I talked you into that. But the rule says, the nth term test, or the divergence test, says that when you take the limit of the nth term and it's not zero, two is not zero, if it's not zero, the series convert, diverges, the series diverges. That kind of makes some people say, oh, so if the limit is zero, it converges. That's not what it says. If the limit is not zero, it diverges. It's guaranteed to diverge if the limit is not zero. If the limit is zero, it's got a chance to converge. Uh, and a lot of them do. It sort of depends on the rate and how fast it's approaching zero. But there are exceptions. Not all of them, if it, if it approaches zero, it doesn't necessarily mean it converges. So we got a lot more tests to learn, a lot more things to say about series. The rest of this chapter is about infinite series and whether they converge or diverge. Uh, so thanks for listening. I hope that helps.